Hi, my name is Cami Turbal. My name is Langdon Adler. My name is Henrietta Bayami. Hello, my name is Anne Fernandez. Hi, my name is Ilda Meshi. I am currently based in Los Angeles, California. I am living in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm from Houston, but I go to school in Syracuse, New York, so I'm back and forth between Texas and New York a lot. I'm currently based in Jobsville, New York. It's 45 minutes outside of New York City. Normally, I'm based in Syracuse, New York, where I go to Syracuse University and major in film. But due to the pandemic and uh, I'm home for break, so I now I'm based in New York City. I'm currently a junior at Syracuse University. I'm double majoring in television, radio, film, and psychology, and then I also have a minor in Spanish. I've been working for the past several years, both independently, um, doing freelance work, as well as interning for companies. I went to the High School of Art and Design, where I first started my film career. That's where I learned the foundation of film, like what type of shots there are, how to edit, and stuff like that. And now I go to Syracuse University where I'm majoring in film. I have experience in documentary filmmaking, and currently I've transitioned into narrative TV storytelling and feature film storytelling. I went to the Atlanta International School for High School and am now studying film in the College of Visual Performing Arts at Syracuse University. I hold a master's degree from the Newhouse School of Public Communications at Syracuse University along with a bachelor's degree from the same school in television, radio, and film with a minor in marketing. My job at Spicer Films is as an editing intern, so I work with the other editors to create content to put on our social media site and our website. I'm a social media video editor intern. I am one of the video editor interns at Splicer Film. Um, at Splicer Films, I work as a video editor intern. I'm an editing intern at Splicer Films. Typical day for me at Splicer Films. It's, I mean, it's different every day. Editing footage. Conceptualizing and executing graphics and videos. Compiling B-roll. Provide guidelines and practices for the team to ensure that the content we're producing um, will encourage positive change. Converting files. Going over the notes from the writers. Working on best practices. Editing a specific teaser on Premiere Pro. Making sure I create a video that matches their outline, but also add some of the stylistic choices that the editors have collaborated on. Going back and forth with Annette and the writers, seeing what they like about it, what they don't like about it. See what the other editors have to say and the other team. And we get content out there. So I ended up at Splicer Films by going to Syracuse's uh, career fair and I noticed that Splicer Films was there, so I looked into the website a bunch, loved what they were doing, signed up for a one-on-one -on -one with Annette, and then the rest is history. I saw that Splicer Films was looking for a video editor intern, and one of the things I love to do about film is edit, so I thought, why not apply? I want to learn more. I ended up at Splicer Films through my university. Um, I just saw that they were having a meeting at the intern jobs fair and um, it just uh, seemed to really align with the kind of work that I wanted to be doing so um, it really worked out. I ended up in my current position here um, at Spicer Films after meeting Annette at a new house career fair. Um, we realized we had a lot of the same interests and a lot of the same goals and when she told me about what she was working on, um, I immediately became interested in helping out. I ended up at Spicer Films through an interview with Annette. Uh, she had put a job posting at my school at Loyola Marymount University and it was a great interview. We just hit it off and I'm excited to be here. My favorite thing about working at Splicer Films has definitely been the adversity we faced with working remotely but um, actually still getting a lot done, going a really long way and creating a really interesting story. I really didn't think I would be able to really get this involved in um, the film industry during a pandemic, but I'm just very grateful for this opportunity. I'm seeing how an actual company runs. Normally when I do my videos or films, it's just me doing everything. I'm the producer, director, writer, everything. But working at an actual company shows me the different roles that everybody has. So everyone is kind of 
is, is kind of like willing to help and able to help one another and work together and commit to this um, one project that we're working on together now. And we all have similar outlooks in life and similar aspirations. Um, I've interned at a lot of other places before and I can say for certain that the company Culture at Splicer Films has been my favorite. My favorite thing about working at Splicer Films has been just being able to see all of this content and being able to hear the different stories and different lives of the people that we are working with. The opportunity to get to know these subjects that we interview around the world, like they are truly incredible people who are doing incredible things that I specifically, and I know a lot of the team like would have never thought they were doing these things. It's, it's honestly, it's mind blowing. Being based in the United States, we kind of get centered with news and everything. So being able to hear other stories and to actually consider other possibilities is really important to me. And I really appreciate that this internship has given me that outlet to do that.